So, it's been what about three months since you launched uh, your first MIMO device, Nokia cool. N900. So, how have been things going with N900? So I think that uh, it uh, has been really interesting and, and nice. So what happened was that after we launched it, we have now had a, a couple of very successful updates, software updates for the users. And, and we have a very good uh, take on, on those updates. So people are downloading and using the, the uh, new software. We got the Ovi store open. We got the Ovi store open, we got uh, improvements in, in uh, exchange support and so forth. So it is improving all the time and, and we also get a very good traction on sales. You know. yeah. So you are not uh, disclosing the numbers, but you say that's No, I'm not, I'm not, but yeah. I'm, I'm very happy about the numbers. Yeah, so, um, and in a late 2019 in interviews, let's see, one, uh, you mentioned that the portrait mode update is coming yes but, uh, and we kind of expected it to, do, to, to, to happen before New Year I think yeah so but it it, it hasn't happened yet it has happened yet it ha it's ha happened so so what we have a portrait mode here is that if I have a browser open here and I turn it like this it goes to the portrait mode okay so mine mine the it goes already because I haven't yes. noticed that on my browser. Okay. Maybe. And what, oh, we, is what we did there is that give me your device Just and you need to just activate it. Ah. And you press the light when you have a browser open. Can I can I do it for you? Yes, do, should yes, we do it you later? can do it. No, <laughs> no, we started, it's okay. We started hacking the, yeah. hacking the device. But you open the browser and then this is... Because we didn't know if people really want it. Because uh -huh. as I said to you earlier, the, our idea was that uh, we want to make it a little bit so that um, it... Um, you know, it's, it's very much a landscape-oriented device. So mm -hmm. now you need to shift control o and that was in the update. So now... Okay, did I press it right? Now actually it should work like that, if you have the latest update. Let's, let's make sure that it works actually after uh -huh. this, okay. so we don't spend okay, time on that. So but it is there, and we promised the browser, and, and now the phone application and the browser yes. has mm -hmm. both landscape and portrait mode. And then, of course, some of the games have, yeah. have uh, mm -hmm. portrait mode. Okay, so uh, and uh, how the uh, the application development uh, going and the de developer interest in uh, in uh, MIMA platform? So we have uh, tens if not hundred applications already available. Mm -hmm. uh, some most interesting of those are available through the Ovi store for the wider range of consumers and then of course we have in the uh, mimo.org you know more like community yeah. applications in a different stages of development uh, all kind of things so i've been also very thrilled to see that a lot of those sort of linux core applications mm -hmm. have moved to n900 with the, the you know with the n900 user interface and so forth mm -hmm. so and now you are managing mimo with the mobilin intel's mobilin and yes. it's become migo so, can you tell me a little bit more about that? So, uh, sure. What does it mean for MIMO is that uh, there has been a couple of... MIMO was always a Nokia internal distro for Nokia devices only. So now we want to take the next step with, with MIMO, merge it with Moplin, that comes Migo. Migo will be developed in open, as an open distro. So everybody can now participate much more openly than in, in at the MIMO side with the actual development of the software. We are also actively now pushing Migo to not only to Nokia devices, but to other devices and other categories. And, and together with Intel, and we will see a lot of other companies and individuals joining it, we just want to get this software to much more places that we could have done with Mime. So the, the application is uh, written for Migo. I, they will be able to run on both ARM architecture and Intel architecture. Definitely. You most probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you need to recompile them. Mm -hmm. You write them once, then you need to recompile them, and then they run on, on both platforms. So actually, I'm much more familiar with MIMO than, than Mobilin. And as I see it, okay, uh, MIMO is bringing the full-fledged uh, operating mobile operating system uh, to, to Migo. Yes. yes. As, as a MIMO 6. Yes. And uh, what Mobilin is bringing in? Okay, so Moblin is bringing, of course, now the support for x86, yeah. so the Intel mm -hmm. architecture. Then they have a very good built infrastructure, which allows us now to move the development to the open and have different branches there and, and so forth, so they have much better 
you know, that kind the of developer system. relations. Uh, not only the relation, but the tools the to tools. be able okay. to manage the mm -hmm. code lines and so forth. And then, of course, they have uh, also their uh, partnership with various software vendors uh, uh, that allows us to take more also commercial software integrated with Migo. So mm -hmm. I think that. Uh, um, it is a very good sort of uh, match of competencies. But if you think about Moplin and Mimo right now, they yeah. are very similar. They are more similar than differences. They both use the s basically the same software architecture. Yeah. And now that we agreed that, that Miko is based on Qt, we have a very aligned and similar stack. So it's going to be rather easy, we hope, to, to merge them together. Mm -hmm. So. Uh Will we see? Will we st still see MIMO six, or will it be already Migo so when it, it, MIMO six? Well, by the end of this year. Okay, so know. so MIMO six, uh, we continue the project full speed. Uh, there's no hiccups in that, and that will be Migo compatible. How we gonna brand it and so forth? That's let's see how we gonna. What what are the community members saying? How we should brand it? Now it's called MIMO six. We continue that path, but we wanna make sure that the applications developed on top of MIMO 6 will be MIGO compliant going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, the next, uh, let's say, MIMO 6 or MIGO, and, uh, whatever it will be called uh, when it's released, uh, w will N900 uh, get that, or let's say, or will it stay uh, or MIMO 5 device? Okay, so it is a MIMO 5 device. now. We must remember now a couple of things. So first of all, for the application users and who want to download applications or develop applications, N900 has now the Qt package and you can build on top of Qt. If you build on top of Qt, it will be very easy to migrate. Actually, they will run on Miko devices. And if you build now applications for Miko, they are very easily ported to N900. So we believe that Miko will actually bring more applications on N900. Then another thing about will there be a, a MIMO 6 on N900, that is something that I don't have, I, I can't you know, verify that, but we don't have that plan laid out yet. What, but I believe that there will be a port of Miko running on N900. We have already Android running on N900, yeah. you got Mac OS running on 800. I'm pretty sure there will be a Miko also yeah. running on N900. How are we as Nokia? Are we going to make a commercial version mm -hmm. out of that? Are we going to support that commercially? Mm -hmm. That is, we don't know that yet. So basically, if you want it, you can get it, but uh, you are not sure whether it will be pushed via software update. We don't know if that's going to yeah. be pushed by, uh, and will it be supported, for example, by Nokia, by our customer care and those kind mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. It's an open device. I'm pretty sure yeah. Migo will run on it. Yeah, okay, now uh, compatibility with the... Uh, well, MIMO compatibility with all these services. Uh, see, right now it's uh, pretty rudim rudimentary. Let's say the Maps application, uh, also the con the syncing application, it's not yet working. Uh, so when uh, can we expect that for N900? So uh, we are making that better all the time. So the next mm -hmm. software release will give some improvements and we are right now working on that. And we will bring more content to the Ovis store and we will improve uh, improve also a lot of aspects there. And, and already in the previous release, you know, we managed to open the Ovis store and so forth. So we are gradually doing that. Um, right now, as I said, we are working on the next release. You should expect to get that in a, in a, hopefully in a few weeks time. And then, then you'll see more about that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.